Well, animating our lights turns out to be pretty simple if we have it organized in the right way. So um, we had a tick function, and inside of our tick function, we have something for updating all of our animation angles. And so in addition to the angles for my, um, my creature here, I, I'm just taking the X position of my light, and I'm just moving it by uh, cosine. So you could make yours go in a circle around your world if you're outside trying to do day and night, or you could just make it go back and forth if you're inside a box like this. Just something so that we can see the light changing and, and see something happen. Now there's one other thing I want to comment on. Uh, most of the time our math functions are math.sign, and here I've written cosine. So what's up with that? Why isn't it math.cosine? Well, that's because earlier, um, and I forgot to mention it earlier, when I was dealing with the sphere, it was really clumsy to, when I was specifying my x, y, and z, have all my sines and cosines have this map dot whatever in it. So I got frustrated, and I just made some little functions. So all this sine function and cosine function does is return map dot sine. Uh, because I wanted my writing inside my sphere to just be cleaner. So over here, I think it made sense, because I had equations where I was trying to calculate uh, more trigonometry stuff. Over here in the world, um, I think that it's, you know, it's it's isolated by itself. So I think this is okay with uh, math. Doc. I, I prefer that. So anyway, easy enough to get uh, some kind of animation happening uh, with, with our light position.